that better? Yeah, it's the same on both screens now, right? Everybody online can see the screen okay? Yeah, no problem. Thanks, Bruce. All right, uh, Casey, this is the microphone. Just speak into that so everybody online can hear you, but sure. the show is yours. Thanks for right. being here. Absolutely, everyone. Thank you so much for having me. My name is Casey. I am the founder of Flash Maps. As you can see, our little bottom over there is study, retain, seed. We are an education technology company. What I'm bit about myself is I'm kind of an outsider to all this. My background is in kinesiology and strength and conditioning. Uh, as I was telling people before, uh, I worked a lot when I was in school. And so I had very little time to actually put towards studying. And so I had to find the best ways to do so. And in doing so, I actually wanted to spend more time when it came to sit down for an exam, learning how to learn as opposed to actually studying for an exam. <laughs> Doing so, this kind of helped me create a love of learning and with my coursework, the, a basis of kind of like neurophysiology and neuroscience, it all kind of blended in very close. So, things to keep in mind as we kind of go through the presentation today, what I'm looking for in front of the community is I have a pretty good idea about who my user, who my customer is. Things I'm kind of wanting to get some thoughts on is how do I access B2B, 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 um, my go-to market strategy thoughts on that. I am actively looking for a co-founder um, and also as always well as startups here, uh, any funding opportunities. So quickly a background on the on the company itself. It's you know, we all know the technology is changing how to support. Um, but the problem is most of us, myself included, and whether it's us or our kids that the typical study model revolves around training, right? Know just enough to do well on the exam. And it doesn't necessarily revolve around learning. And technology still reflects that. So training with a smartphone is still just training. And the other apps and the other uh, resources out there kind of have this fake learning or maybe even a fake gamification model that kind of tries to pass themselves off as truly learning. So, first of all, here's the opportunity that no resources out, resources out there leverage the use of method of loci. Now, method of loci is a centuries old memory technique, ancient memory technique that allows you to take bits of information, find creative ways to store it in a location that's the Latin for uh, loci. So, brief examples, let's say we're learning chemistry. So we want to learn the periodic table of elements. We've got hydrogen, helium, and lithium. We're going to select a visual to represent each uh, item here. So hydrogen, you can think of a fire hydrogen. Helium, think of a helium balloon. Lithium, think of a lithium battery. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to place those visuals in a familiar location, such as your sink, uh, such as your kitchen, right? So if you were to do this in your own home, so you walk in, you can walk into the kitchen, you get a glass of water, you see fire hydrogen spewing out. You go down the hallway to get to the towel in the closet. You see a balloon just floating down the hallway. Walk past the living uh, living room. You see a giant lithium battery charger. So these, what this does here, is create essentially a mental map that links the information together, helps you recall it, and remember. Absolutely works. I have two studies here. I know I said it's an ancient memory technique, but it actually works. Two studies here shows uh, that. Participants who use the method have higher recall and retention rates. And again, no apps exist use this method concurrently for the student study material. And that is what we aim to do. So you come in, you will create your flashcards, you will import your notes, all, all that stuff at one time. And then you'll be able to take your smartphone camera or your tablet and then snap a picture or use your camera roll and create the basis of your memory journey or your location. Next, you'll be able to bind them together, and that is what we'll, we'll call your memory journey. So to use that example, if we just if you're learning chemistry, what you'll do is you'll snap a picture of your kitchen, you'll import your uh, flashcards, and you'll be able to set like gifts, emojis, all of that, and create that memory journey. This is primarily who it's for, but I think largely that most people People who will be most successful will be either college students, professionals, so people studying for post-licensure exams, uh, doctors, you know, residency, real estate, you know, kind of thing. You know, so. 
a little bit of my time on accessory validation. Like I said, I think most importantly, the, the college age up would be, you know, find this most beneficial. And December 24, I actually completed a, a demo with a prototype, and 80% of the students said that they found it incredibly useful, that they would use it to study for exams. 80% also said that they would pay for this service. So did that know how do we make money? There's two revenue models that I'm uh, exploring. One would be a premium subscription, so limited access. And then if you want to create unlimited memory journeys, you know, unlimited uses, you'll pay a fee of $5, $50 a year. The second would be a marketplace. So we want to encourage people to become creators, use their study material as a form of content. Currently exploring pricing options with that, but essentially, we want people, teachers, or people just who love to learn, love to teach people, you know, how they can sell their set material. I was treated as a form of content. So we all line now, we all know that the classroom is learning becoming more virtual, said technology is changing how we learn and how we interact with one another, how we teach. So what I'd like to do is bridge the gap between this ancient memory technique, the science of it, and modern technology. The biggest competitors will be Quizlet, Chatting, Study Blue, Tiny Cards. Check actually acquired Study Blue, um, but this is not their domain. They're, you know, Check is more so for rentals. Quizlet is, like I said, that book gamification. And also to say, which is important and funny, a lot of it's going to go into this product development because I would really, really, really like to get this into VR virtual reality. Brief thank you to my mentor team. And that's all I have. Woohoo!